Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Leo, your first card out this week is the Page of Cups, Strongest Energy. I do get this is more so something that might be happening out of the blue, something you're not expecting. Some sort of surprise factor here. It is in your past energy, but time is elusive. This could be happening now, could have already happened, or maybe happening in your future. We are all on different timelines. So, surprise energy here. What else do we have for Leo, please? I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. We have Major Arcana, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Four of Wands, Major Arcana, the Hangman. Okay, maybe something that was stagnant or not moving or, you know, there was no progress in a particular area. Could be matters of the heart here. Something to do with the emotional space with the Cups energy. Surprisingly, might actually be getting a lot more serious than um, it might have seemed. We have Justice card here, Major Arcana for Libra. Ugh, Justice and the Hierophant? Four of Wands? I don't know. I do get, for some of you, this is a connection that you are either about to experience or have recently met somebody with this page energy. This speaks of new energy. I do not get this as any sort of past energy here. For some of you have met someone new or about to meet someone, and I don't think you're expecting it to be anything much, but little to your surprise. Two of Swords, final card out. Definitely something that you did not see happening here. Heavy emphasis on some sort of commitment here, potential marriage Four of Wands, the Hierophant, and uh, the, uh, the Justice, speaking of some sort of binding contract. Okay, we have the Four of Swords as an extra card. We have the Six of Wands and the Chariot Major Archon for Cancer Energy, Cancer Season. Bottom of the deck, another major arcana. So you have one, two, three, now four major arcana, the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. You will have a choice to make. Some of you will, in fact, be choosing love, and this is something very, very, like, day and night day and night i see the death card here scorpio energy transformation yeah you're transforming this hurt some of you have a very um low expectation of uh relationships especially romantic ones you do not have very high expectations you do not have um a positive outlook or you know didn't expect much when it came to that department but to your surprise i think something's about to um shock you and you might not want to see it at first to the two swords here it's like Nah, this ain't it. This is not, nah. But I think something's going to happen here where it's going to be kind of hard to ignore. You also have two fours here. Energy of protection. Five, one, five. Six, progress. Four, five, six. Yeah, some of you are a little bit resistant, are going to be a little bit resistant, because I do get this has not happened yet. This is something new. Some of you might have recently come into uh, contact or connection with someone, maybe a Pisces, Libra, uh, Taurus, Cancer. But something is about to take you for surprise here. I think it's going to shock you how much potential, how far this connection goes. And I think you're going to resist it a little bit in the beginning. I think your intuition is going to tell you that this is something good. But because of past um, experiences, you're, it's, it's like hard to believe. And I do think this connection is uh, meant to sort of heal your perception of connection. Perception of connection. There you go. Whatever sort of bad taste romance is left in your mouth, this is kind of meant to, 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 to change it. To heal that. Four of Swords is also about healing. This could also be something that you have prayed for. The Four of Swords can also be something, uh, a card of prayer. Something you have prayed for but didn't actually think you would get. But the five, but the Hierophant is, does speak to change. It does speak to commitment. And the Justice card, the Four of Wands, this is, if this is not marriage, this is damn near close. And the Six of Wands is very much a uh, reception energy. You know, announcing some sort of engagement or announcing some sort of relationship. Some of you might end up moving with the chariot card here, but this is more so you realizing that this is something um, positive and going for it, moving towards it. Full gusto. 
You also have the Six of Swords energy here, which is also a sense of moving forward, moving from any sort of um, emotional instability or, you know, anything that, uh, any sort of uh, Debbie Downer vibes about emotions and in right relationships, moving away from that with the Six of Swords between the two of these. The Six of Wands is also a sense of overcoming the drama, the bullshit, the negativity, having to compete all the time. Beautiful energy. But of course, it's your choice. You decide. You decide if you want to do it or not. If you don't want to do it, that's cool. Let's get some light up in here. If you don't want to do it, that's cool. The choice is yours. But this is very much an opportunity to choose love here. With all this major arcana, an opportunity to change perception. An opportunity to experience the other side of love. Not the shit, the shit side. The, the shit side. Tongue twister. With all this major arcana, this is huge. Heavy um, influenced by the divine here. So you can resist, you can do that, but I don't think it's going to be something you can kind of deny for much longer. And I think some of you will choose to go for it. Choose. There's a six of swords. Moving forward, moving past the emotional um, bullshit, you know, uncertainty. Ace of wands, absolutely something or someone new here. Okay, let's get some guidance for Leo. If this is a romantic connection in particular, which for most of you, I think it is. Worth waiting for, I mean, worth waiting for divine timing is at working your love life. So for some of you, this is a, a wish that you have, something you've been praying for that you kind of lost faith with or gave up hope on happening. Or now that it's here, it's like you don't believe, it's, it's, it's making you feel like, nah, this is not, it's not possible, but you're going to see. Worth waiting for. And we also have <laughs> engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. Yeah, this obviously will not be for all of you. This will not be for all of you. But there's definitely a collective of you here that is um, getting to experience the other side of what we've already experienced. The duality to that, because this is also what the lover's card is about. Duality, right? Or, an, or or the justice card. The justice card is balanced too. So like all the all the lessons and all that stuff, it's been learned. Now it's time to balance the perception of love. We already know how negative it can be. Now it's time to see how good it can be, how good it can feel, how secure it can feel, how um, you know, the real the real deal, type of thing. Okay, let's see, Leo, Star Spirit, yeah. Open to infinite possibilities. It definitely is a time for you to open up because I do get some of you might be tempted to close off or sort of um, ignore or play a or you know that type of vibe. And chameleon spirit act as if this is all about being um, adaptable. Also, energy of change with the fourteen being a five. It's time for you to um, transform from a caterpillar to the butterfly. Now it's time for the butterfly phase of life. It's time for you to experience the butterfly phase of um, love. Not that the caterpillar is any bad, but it's definitely not the butterfly. It's very different from crawling to flying. Okay. Let's get you one of these, Leo. <laughs> it's funny. Bottom of the deck. Yes. Okay. Guidance, please. Some of you, this is the proposal, the Page of Cups. I think someone might be thinking of proposing for those where this is going to resonate or thinking of moving in together. But also with the hangman, this is all about a change of perspective. So as I was getting, <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you. It's free will. That's that lover's card. Free will, baby. You can say no or you can choose to uh, embrace this new this new um, vibration. This is meant to change your perspective because there's definitely a perspective of um, that's already existing that's trying to be overwritten. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. The pain is the comfort zone. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Very much the time. So for some of you, this is this is um, triggered by that eclipse that we just had. For those of you that are on this timeline, guidance for Leo, please. Yeah. The comfort zone is is the good stuff. You're not used to the good stuff. That's why it's kind of hard for you to digest. You're used to, you know, the sorrow, the heartbreak, the pain, with the three of swords over here. But this is what this is exactly what you're moving away from. Because this is the order it's coming out. 
and moving away from the heartbreak pain that type of experience and moving towards passion excitement ace of pentacles yeah you're leaving the fives behind because i also saw the five of wands which comes before this six of wands all the strife guidance please for you we have here exploring unity consciousness very much energy of partnership that's what that's exactly what's going on i am one eternal light appearing as all unity consciousness you've been on solo dolo consciousness for a minute so now it's time to as i said experience the other side of the coin the cooler side of the pillow guidance please for leo and I don't see any pentacles here, but this could absolutely be some sort of financial turn. You know, that's going to enable you to do some things that you've always wanted to do, but have been limited due to finances. I'm not seeing pentacles, although I did see the ace of pentacles, but that's very much proposal energy too. So, could definitely be work, but for a lot of you, there's some sort of um, contract commitment that's coming in for you. Guidance, please. And it is a new person. Heavy emphasis on that. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Mercury retrograde just ended this week. Or last week, I should say. So now things can move forward. Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. That's cute. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get one of these for Leo. And we'll wrap it up. Guidance for Leo, please. And with all this major arcana, this is huge. This is going to be huge for some of you. Some of you might have um, given up the idea of being married. You know? So this is like a brain, a, a mind, a mind boggle. This is going to boggle you. This is going to be very hard to digest, but you will. Fun. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. And we have your inner temple. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart, which is very much what's going on here. Allowing yourself to have this. Allowing your heart space to receive this, Leo. Okay? That is your reading. Hopefully, it resonates with you all. Really do hope that. Um, thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.